Could a ketogenic be one of the most impactful interventions we can have on Alzheimer's disease? I'm Dr. Brett Scher, the medical director at dietdoctor.com. And gosh, Alzheimer's disease is one of these conditions that has not improved over time. Whether it's the incidence of it or the treatment of it, it just seems to be getting worse. The, the drugs that people, that companies are spending hundreds of millions of dollars on have not really made an impact in the disease, unfortunately. And the incidence and prevalence just keeps rising and rising. And it's one of the most devastating diseases we can have. But what if we've been overlooking the easiest and most effective approach? A ketogenic diet could be that. Now, I may be overstating it to say it's the most effective approach because we don't really have it a lot of evidence comparing it to other interventions. But now we have a randomized controlled trial comparing a ketogenic diet to a low-fat diet. This was published in Alzheimer's Research and Therapy. And what they did, this was a really interesting study. It was small. They had 26 patients, um, but it was a randomized crossover study. So half of them started with a ketogenic diet, which interesting was 29% protein, so relatively high protein for the standard keto diet, which I think is great. 58% fat and 6% net carbs um, versus a low fat diet. And then after doing that for uh, 12 weeks, they had a 10 week washout period and then they switched to the other diet. So pretty well orchestrated study. What they found was pretty remarkable. People in the usual diet got worse on measurements of quality of life and um, measurements of activities of daily living. The, The usual Uh, the low-fat diet got worse, whereas the ketogenic diet got significantly better on both of those markers. And those are pretty important. I mean, quality of life and activities of daily living are obviously very important things for people with dementia and their caretakers, their family, their loved ones. Everybody's going to benefit with these improvements. And the ketogenic diet showed those improvements. Pretty interesting. Now, um, there wasn't a significant increase in cognitive function, although it did increase a little bit, whereas it didn't on the low-fat diet. So maybe in more patients or more uh, statistical power, that could have been uh, seen as well. So this is really interesting, though, because prior to this, um, just a couple months ago, we published at dietdoctor.com a systematic review, which was published in Advances in Nutrition, that looked at 10 randomized controlled trials of some form of a ketogenic diet, whether it was you know exogenous ketones, a ketogenic diet, or um, added MCT oil, and they showed improvement in cognition and memory, um, and showed sort of a li- relationship with ApoE4 that people with ApoE4 progressed, still progressed, but a little bit less than those with ApoE2 or 3. So what does all this mean? It means the literature is starting to speak, the science is starting to speak that something about carbohydrate reduction and probably something about ketones themselves are beneficial for neurological function for people who have cognitive impairment in Alzheimer's disease. And that's pretty impressive in the setting of a disease that just continues to rise in terms of its prevalence and a disease in which drug therapies have been uniformly disappointing. So I think this is incredibly encouraging. And you know, people who have Alzheimer's disease, whose loved ones have Alzheimer's disease, they're pretty desperate to find anything that works because it is a devastating condition. And if it can be something as getting something as simple as getting ketones in your blood and, and following a ketogenic diet, that's powerful. That's empowering. That's what I'm here for, and that's what I love about these studies. So we'll link to the studies um, in the in the description below so you can check them out for yourselves, but pretty encouraging news. All right, we'll see you next time here on Diet Doctor News on YouTube.